Hello everyone, I'm Michael Panisi, and today I'm joined by Kate Elliott, my rock star agent from Maplewood, New Jersey. Uh, welcome, Kate. Rock star agent. What was that? One of your rock star agents. One of my rock star agents, that's very true. Um, well, I appreciate you getting uh, all dressed up for me today. I know that we are now in, uh, call it week six of, you know, the coronavirus pandemic. I know it's a little bit of an odd time, but um, we're not going to focus on that. We're going to focus on, you know, some general questions that I had for you um, about how you run your life and your real estate business. Um, I will touch upon, you know, some things, you know, in the context of today. And most importantly, I just wanted to thank you again for, you know, coming on the uh, show today. I am happy to do it. And uh, my schedule was pretty clear. So no problem. Excellent. All right. So the first question I have for you, we'll keep it in context for now. Um, how are you keeping yourself motivated day to day? Oh, so we're going to start with a really easy question, right? <laughs> I, you know what? It's, it's just to be perfectly honest, it's hard. You know, it's, uh, I'm, we're trying to keep a little bit of a routine, but at the same time, you know, everybody's dealing with this. We're dealing with, you know, homeschooling, trying to keep our businesses running, um, and then just sort of making sure we don't succumb to the general ennui of being stuck at home. So um, I'm not that motivated every day, but I am trying to take tiny accomplishments. You know, like last Friday, my daughter and I cleaned out her toys and that was a big project for us and we felt really good afterwards. And so, you know, now I'm thinking, okay, well maybe on Fridays we'll take a little time to do something else in the house together and I'm just trying to take little things and, and make them, you know, keep us, us going. Yeah, makes sense. Um, so you are one of the most positive people that I know in life. And I love that about you. Um, I think a lot of people could use some positivity in their world right now. And I'm curious um, if you could talk to me about a positive influence on your life. It could be a book. It could be a quote. It could be a person, an experience, anything that, you know, that brings you towards the good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, listen, I think that right now, obviously, it's such an interesting time, but I've been so sort of inspired and touched by everything that, that everyone in the community is doing to help out everyone else. You know, people are making masks, uh, you know, people are donating to small businesses, shopping small businesses, you know, people are doing food deliveries for each other, and all of that is really an, an amazing thing that maybe wouldn't have happened or maybe not to this extent or maybe wouldn't have been highlighted so much if we aren't hadn't been in the situation that we're in and to me i think you know people who are making the best of this and using what they have and their tools and availability and and you know finances whatever it is to help keep us all kind of going and afloat is has been really a positive influence on on a lot of us yeah there's no question um, I'd actually like to take that same question and not um, take it in the context of coronavirus, but just in general, is there, you know, in, in everyday life, you know, throughout your life, is there something that you have found to be a positive influence on your life? Um, again, it could be a person, it could be a quote, it could be a book, could be pretty much anything that, that comes to mind. Yeah, I mean, listen, my seven-year-old is awesome, and she's hilarious, and like, nothing gets her down and you know she's like so quick to laugh she has good insight she's very rarely upset um and so you know to me i'm like okay well if she can deal with this or that whether that be the situation we're in now or something else that's upsetting to her and she can work through it and and be be the positive person that she is i'm like well she's seven you know if she can do that i can do that and you know i she's little but she's mighty and i i feel like really positive influence from her. Yeah, I mean, I get the same from her as well. And I will tell you, I feel the same exact way about my three-year-old. I mean, it's it's unbelievable what you get from, you know, the energy you get from your children. And um, yeah, I completely can relate to that. There's no question. Yeah. So your calendar just got cleared. We all know that. Um, it's probably why you're sitting on this, uh, this call with me right now. Um, you know, I'm curious, you have whatever time you need to some extent um, to complete any task. Knowing that, you know, what are you working on right now? Okay, well, 
I am the kind of person where the less I have to do, the less I accomplish. And I've been talking to people, I think a lot of people are that way. If I am busy, I will get everything done. If I have one thing to do, I'll be like, no, I can do it tomorrow. So the one thing that I have really been wanting to do, I haven't done it yet, but I've done a lot of other things in order to put off doing what I really should do. <laughs> I really want to empty my filing cabinet and take away all the old stuff and file the massive mound of two years worth of paperwork that is sitting on the desk in the basement. And in order to avoid doing that, I have cleaned out pretty much every other closet, room, you know, part of my house. So that's been really good. And I'm just trying to wait till I run out of time so I don't actually have to do the filing cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I know it's, this is my question to you, but I'm gonna hijack this because you, you sparked the thought for me. I have, for a long time now, have been, um, you know, pretty, uh, pretty adamant about wanting to kind of get my personal finances in order. We have a tiny visitor. Come here, come here. Oh, please. There she goes. Little ball of sunshine that she is. Hi. Hi. Hi, Millie. What's going on? She wants, she's doing a Mo Willems lunch doodle and she needs a break. Oh. Well, thank you for joining us on the call. Yeah, thanks. All right. Go to the and it's right where all of your new um, games are. It's on the right. In a, in a of cardboard thing, but I need to finish with that, okay? So improvise. Work from home, this is the one of the, the beauties of it. Yesterday, uh, Angelina walked in the, the room while I was on a work call with uh, dressed completely like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was saying before that uh, very welcomed in, uh, interruption is, you know, I, I've been taking every single piece of every statement that I've had and everything else and filing it away, scanning it and filing it, you know, on my, on my computer so I could kind of purge some of the, the file cabinets that I have. And I would have never in a million years have done that if it wasn't for this. So, you know, it's, it's interesting where, we, where we're using our time, but you know, I appreciate you sharing that. Um, so this has been a challenging time. We all know that. What have you learned about yourself and what have you learned about life in the past, you know, call it six weeks? I have learned, I think for the most part, uh, what I am bad at. And three of those things are, I am bad at home workouts. <laughs> I am bad at home haircuts for both dogs and people. And I am a bad teacher. Fair enough. As the husband of a teacher, I'm very impressed about what they're doing. So, and what she's doing specifically, my wife. Um, so, you know, everybody always asks me about you in, in the context of real estate. You know, you've, you've done an unbelievable job of growing very quickly. Um, I think that you do it with a smile on your face and, you know, you're, you know, you're very creative in so many different ways. There's, there's a lot you bring to the table in real estate. Um, you've had some time to, kind of press pause in a way, although I know we're not completely paused right now, but knowing that, like reflecting on your real estate career to this point, I'm curious, um, what do you feel like you do really well and where do you feel that you're lacking? Okay. Yeah. I mean, listen, anybody who tells you that they are busier now than ever is uh, not telling the truth. I, I think, I mean, I've been on a couple of panels and, you know, most people are Saying the same thing obviously business is, is different and it's challenging and you have some people who are like i just can't stop selling houses and i'm like mm, maybe but you know the fact of the matter is i think one of the things that i do and my team does really well is parlaying the business that we have into new business you know that's client retention that's you know getting buyers from our listings that is you know using social media and mailers to, to talk about the accomplishments that we've had, the sold homes, all that, obviously not, we don't have access to a ton of that right now. Um, you know, my team has business going on, but we're not doing open houses, obviously. So we're not meeting a lot of new buyers face to face in that capacity. Um, so one of the things that I think probably everybody is catching up on is how are we gonna take the business that we have and harness new business in, in new ways? whether that's on digital platforms or, you know, through obviously, you know, 
picking up the phone, old fashioned dialing, not prospecting per se, because I'm, I'm not actually doing that right now. You know, I don't necessarily think it's appropriate to be calling up people and asking if they want to move when somebody in their house could be sick or something like that. We're not bragging on social media about all of our closings, that type of a thing. Um, so, you know, what we were good at, we're going to have to figure out how to be good at again in a different way. So that kind of leads me right into that next question. And, you know, it's, it's a, along the same lines, but I'm just curious, what is the specific way that you feel like you and your team is going to pivot given what you know about COVID-19 and maybe what the, the future world might look like? You know, I think that, you know, once this is all said and done, the first thing I'm going to do is start to wear pants again. I'm not really looking forward to it, but I think that getting out and about, it's going to be important to actually get dressed. I'm dressed today. Normally I'm not that dressed up. Um, but no, as far as, as business goes, you know, we're, we're learning the same as everybody else is. And people have asked me, you know, how's the virtual selling going? Are people buying houses virtually? You know, no, not really. House buying is, is a financial decision and an emotional decision. And until they set foot in that space, they're probably not going to know whether or not it's, you know, a great fit for them. But what I do think it's doing is it is making the business that we're doing more succinct. So if this person has seen the photos and they've had this virtual tour and a Facebook walkthrough, a FaceTime walkthrough, you know, maybe they're going to say, you know what, gosh, we really think this could work for us. And so that means that, you know, keeping our safety concerns in mind, having people come to this house, it's a much better likelihood that it's going to be a match versus, you know, having people coming out who are, you know, maybe not going to be a fit for the house. I'm rambling on a little bit, um, but as far as pivoting, you know, we're learning just the same as, as, as everybody is. And I think um, it's a little too early to tell what part of doing business this way is going to stick and, and how it's going to morph. And we just need to, you know, try to keep up with it. Yeah, no question. Um, so I'm going to ask this question in the context of COVID, but I'm going to ask this question, you know, prior to COVID as well. Um, talk to me about your schedule. Have you kept a consistent schedule? Um, do you normally have a consistent schedule, you know, prior to the pandemic? What does that look like for you on a daily basis? So I, I say, actually, I have a much more consistent schedule now than I did beforehand. Because beforehand, you know, when we're a lot busier, I, you know, I'm not great at time blocking. And I know that's one of the things that all of the problem barriers of the world say is essential. You know, you have to block time for prospecting. You have to block time for, you know, you have to block time for whatever, personal stuff. I'm not great at that because I'll block it and then I'll fill it with whatever comes up. So, you know, now I actually think, you know, we are on a better schedule because I'm also dealing with, with homeschooling. So we're trying to, you know, get up at a reasonable time. I tell my daughter, okay, if you, you know, if we finish your homeschool before lunch, we can do whatever it is in the afternoon. We can do crafts, we can ride your bike, we can do a Zoom call with our friends or our family. You know, we'll do whatever it is. But, you know, I'm trying to make sure that we get that school out of the way. That also gives me a little time to work. Although, as you can see, it's not a foolproof system, keeping her occupied. Um, but, you know, it, it's you have to. I think otherwise I would just be like sitting in a corner, rocking back and forth, sucking my thumb if I didn't have some sort of a regimen. Um, all right. So... You know, I appreciate you giving some insight about your schedule. I am curious, and this could be a more of a fun question, but maybe not. It, you know, depends on your answer. Um, you know, do you have any fun or productive rituals that you have in your life? I know, you know, we hear all these things about morning routines. We hear about, you know, maybe bedtime transitions, like this is what I do, you know, before bed. This is what I do, you know, when I wake up. Um, you know, maybe celebratory dances that you do when, you know, something good happens. Like, do you have anything that that you would uh, point to in your life related to any of those questions? Well, right now, before bed, we like to have a, a little dance party, and mostly we like to dance to Whitney Houston. So I think kind of right now, every day, it's a little bit of an accomplishment. Like, if we made it through, and everybody's still speaking to each other, and we accomplished some stuff, and nobody is, you know, so bored out of their minds, you know, we made it to the end of the day, we had some fun, we got some stuff done, like, we're, we're just kind of dancing it out a little bit, which, you know, it's great. And and we do a craft every day. Like, we're very craft heavy. So that's been kind of uh, all 
rituals <laughs> and routines here. That's awesome. Um, so this could be in, in reference to real estate. This could be in reference to life, but I'm just curious, what's the best advice you were ever given? Oh, okay. This is applicable to literally everything. And my mother gave me this advice when we were driving around looking at colleges. So approximately 700 years ago, <laughs> I was, I don't know, complaining about something, being very teenagerly. And she just looked at me and she said, don't worry, it'll be over later. There you go. That's, that's pretty good. Um, so I, I'm going to throw one bonus question here. And the bonus question is, you know, just more of a fun one. So we're all stuck at home right now. We all have, you know, whatever we have going on in our own worlds. I'm curious, what are you most looking forward to? And it could be like, I want to eat such and such, or it could be, you know, I can't wait to go have a drink at a bar or whatever it may be. I'm just curious, like, what are you missing the most right now? I always ask my, my wife this question whenever she's been pregnant is like, what are you craving for the most? And it could be really anything, but I'm just curious, what is, what are you missing in your life right now? Oh my gosh. I mean, listen, obviously some of the fundamentals, like getting a pedicure, eating at a restaurant, you know, all that's going to be like freaking amazing once it's <laughs> okay to do that. But I like, I've had a really sort of weird hankering and I don't know if it's because we were supposed to have the circle of excellence and we didn't, but I really don't get out much, like even before now. And I really, really, really want to go dancing and I don't have a crop top or anything. I just want to go <laughs> and, and like dance and have fun and have a couple of drinks and like stay up really late. All right. That's, that's the perfect note to end on. So listen, I, I really appreciate your time today. Um, thank you for joining me and, you know, obviously uh, wishing you the best in the, in the days to come. Yeah, you too. Thanks so much. This was fun. I appreciate it. And um... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do it again sometime soon. All right. All right. I look forward to that night of dancing. All right. Bye. Take care.